This is simply not acceptable and we can't do this long term. It's been decided Calgary City Council will not adjust the balance of this year's tax increase, meaning local businesses will not see a reduction in their property taxes. With the realities of inflation, some small business owners say it makes the decision even tougher to swallow. Now with this new crisis again, it's impact us bigger than the COVID. And we were hoping that the government or the city of Calgary would find ways and means to help people such as us. With uh, leases coming up, with the economy the way it is, the uncertainty right now about what things are going to be like for the rest of the year, um, this is going to be a really tough time for a lot of small businesses. According to Calgary's Chamber of Commerce, City Council's Tuesday vote will keep some 14,000 commercial and business properties paying 48 percent of Calgary's property taxes, while 531,000 residential properties will still pay the majority at 52 percent. Mark Garner from Calgary's Downtown Association says the split is disproportionate. People sometimes think that small independent business are multimillionaires. They're not. Their RRSP is their business. When we look at other cities of comparable size, that downtown Calgary is paying more than other cities across Canada. Had the vote swung in the opposite direction, Calgary homeowners would have seen a further increase to their property taxes. Though some might label it a lose-lose situation, Sarah Elder Chaminara of Inglewood's Madam Premier was quick to mention a simple reality. Business owners are, you know, some of us might be renters, but I think predominantly um, we might be homeowners as well. In Calgary, Tate Lake Craft, City News.